This is TradingView Toolkit from CIS Trading, the creator and developer of Thinkorswim Toolkit and TradingView Toolkit. I'm JC, the founder and owner of Quorum Integrated Solutions Incorporated, the designer of Great Gatsby Pro Trader, the author of Pro Trading, and the originator of the world's best market making and price action methodology. Go to cisevents.wordpress.com or thinkorswimtoolkit.com to review all of these resources, videos, and indicator solutions for trading and investing in capital markets. Pro Trading is the impetus of the CIS Trading Toolbox for market analysis, chart reading, and algorithmic solutions for trading and investing in global markets. The CIS Trading Toolbox of solutions includes FX Insights, Futures in Focus, Trade Optics, Options Ballistics with both Stocksometer and Forexometer from Quorum's Capitalism Theorem, which introduces a new economic philosophy focused on capital management as a real economic solution. From Pro Trading Chart Analysis Methodology to CIS Trading Capital Cycle Algorithms, the primary focus of the GG series Market Making Signals and Price Action Signals is to integrate the most accurate price action chart reading method with advanced indicator solutions for momentum, technical levels, market depth, and buy-sell conditions. The TradingView Toolkit is a combination of the 2008-2009 Great Gatsby Pro Trader and CIS Trading GG Series solutions utilized to create the best chart analysis system and trade execution strategy for TradingView.com, which is an easily accessible, internet-based public news and education resource and trading platform. TradingView Toolkit includes buy-sell candle color signals, key levels, buy-sell trade zones, pro-trader adjusted trend curve, momentum inversion trend curve, market depth, and the best in world CIS GG Pro metrics all displayed with awesome visual appeal in only three advanced multi-signal indicators allowing the application to the free introductory paper trade version of TradingView. At CIS Trading, I, Joshua Quorum, known as JC, have designed five candlestick signal systems for capital management, each coupled with a multi-algorithm auto-execution strategy. Great Gatsby Pro Trader Candlesticks Algorithm and CIS GG Pro Metrics 97% winning trade algorithm are calculated into the TradingView toolkit. There are four other candlestick algorithms which may be viewed on the website. Two are candlesticks only. The first, CIS Illumination, is a standalone momentum induction method from IX series which includes an IMA induction momentum average for the trade signal. The second, CIS Inception is a standalone capital cycle method. And two include lower oscillators with matching buy sell signals. The first, CIS Differential, is a technical method based on trade optics from the QX series. And my favorite is CIS Intrinsic, which is pro metrics for CIS capital cycles. All of these can be viewed on the website and have an auto execution strategy designed with them. The real quality value of TradingView Toolkit is the inclusion of the first original Great Gatsby Pro Trader signals in combination with the CIS Trading Trade Optics and CIS GG Pro Metrics from the last superior CIS Intrinsic in the RX series. All content is property of Joshua Quorum. Distribution, sell, reproduction, and derivatives are prohibited by law. Reference any published works to cisevents.wordpress.com. This includes use of terminology associated with Great Gatsby Pro Trader and Pro Trading and CIS Trading Capital Cycles, Thinkorswim Toolkit, and TradingView Toolkit. While Quorum Integrated Solutions Incorporated may recommend services or products by various third party entities, CIS Trading and JC shall not be held responsible for the products, services, alterations or representations made by those third-party entities 
or their members, clients, affiliates, or representatives. The use of any solutions or services offered by JC, CIS Trading, and Quorum Integrated Solutions Incorporated are not to be regarded as specific personal investment advice or financial counsel from a licensed registered broker dealer. Pro Trading from Great Gatsby Pro Trader JC in 2008 and 2009 focuses on market depth and delta trend in respect of price action signals and market making reversals to determine specific momentum potential and realistic capital performance. Pro Trader candlesticks are color schemed to the primary Pro Trader value and core value relationship among two and only two successive candles in order to determine the optimal buy sell condition. The white prometrics algorithm defines the two step or two bar price action reversal. If after a peak algorithm high or low, the algorithm is respectively lower or higher, then the, then the initial signal is a price action reversal. If after peaking at a high or a low, the algorithm step after the peak is lower or higher than the step prior to the peak condition, then a three bar price action reversal is signaled. So the first orange arrow shows a three bar bullish reversal where the step after the peak low is higher than the prior step before the peak. The second orange arrow identifies a bearish reversal where the step after the peak high is lower than the step before the peak high. The pro trader trend definitions are the only tradable trend criteria. The pro metrics algorithm uses momentum inversion to define those variables respective to price. If price is above the algorithm step, then the pro trader trend adjusted condition is bearish. If price is below the algorithm step, then the pro trader trend adjusted condition is bullish. The pro metrics algorithm arrows account for the pro trader market making and price action levels and areas, creating a predictive expectation of directional behavior. These arrows are color schemed to a buy sell condition. Real divergence, and I emphasize real divergence, has nothing to do with typical or traditional differential interpretations. Instead, real divergence implicates a quality of capital performance or capital non-performance. The pro trader methodology defines two conditions of real divergence in capital performance. The first, the one-step scalp close method, is applicable when price closes higher or lower than a previous peak, but the pro metrics algorithm closes lower or higher than the corresponding algorithm peak. Compare the algorithm peaks to the price close levels. That's real divergence. Real divergence where capital is not performing. The second one-step scalp peak method is applicable when price peaks higher or lower than a previous peak, but the pro metrics algorithm peaks lower or higher than the corresponding algorithm peak. Compare the algorithm peaks to the price peak levels. It's real divergence. It's real divergence with immediate capital pressure. The pro trader methodology employs the use of capital performance patterns as candlestick patterns. These five patterns coincide with an observable 100% accurate pattern of capital performance. If every upward move in price was a candle, and when price moved downward a new candle formed, and so on for every mo movement of price, then these five patterns always result in price reversing. So all for one patterns, pin stop patterns, spirit patterns, arrowhead patterns, diamond patterns from Great Gatsby Pro Trader are derived from candlestick and bar charts. They're not 
typical candlestick or bar patterns. They're derived from the actual capital performance. These patterns deal with immediate assessments of capital performance and provide immediate insight into inflation or principal capital devaluation. They, they are reversal patterns, all five of them. These five patterns provide significant potential to substantial necessary changes in price that are always profitable. Pro trading is a capital management philosophy focused on capital performance. Inflation or devaluation of principal is lost capital. That's disappearing money. So pro trading focuses on trading for capital performance, finding immediate opportunities to participate where capital is not performing, and trading in a direction where capital will perform. The market analysis of FX Insights and Futures in Focus deals specifically with 24-hour assessment of pro trading capital performance principles. This type of technical analysis and market evaluation is transformational. The pro trading solutions all identify a specific quality of capital performance. Look at the diamond pattern on this chart. The upward move of the British pound Australian dollar in 2019 spring was entirely inflationary with zero capital performance. This means that the gains in the trades were less than the inflation caused per $100,000 of capital. CIS trading made over 580 pips shorting the British pound and Australian dollar in February and March of 2019. The position was closed 200 pips higher than the low the British pound and Australian dollar actually achieved. So there were 700 pips or $7,000 in capital returns using pro trading per $100,000 lot, which only cost $5,000 in leverage to maintain. This analysis in April of 2019 applies both pro trading and Quorum's capitalism theorem to explain real capital performance and real inflation. That's the real cost of capital and real capital risk. In December 2018, IJC made a public declaration and presentation of a December 2018 drop in equity markets and provided analysis with a diamond pro trader pattern. This analysis focuses on what is necessary for capital performance. If trading for an exchange, for example, if real Productivity standards, that's the cost of capital, the real cost of capital, and the real capital risk is 6% combined. Then every time you use a $100,000 lot, the immediate risk is 6 pips because that's the loss of the value of the dollar when you give up a 100 penny dollar at a market value exchange of 94 and a half pennies. Just take a look at what Pro Trading and Trading View Toolkit offer for market analysis and decision making for active trading. The best, most comprehensive, integrated solutions. Pro Trading. That's P-R-O. Prioritizes the potential range of price action potential. Utilizing a delta or range in time focus method for optimizing momentum. The Pro Trading Seminar from JC at CIS Trading, that's me, is everything you never knew about how to interpret or read a chart and actively trade based on capital performance. Since the Dutch first introduced investment certificates, banknotes, and supply guarantees as stock certificates during the era of an expansive British Empire, the collaborative catalog of trading and investment methods is too extensive to quantify. 
Pro-trading introduces a comprehensively integrated methodology which has never been included in the historical discourse on the topic of trading. Allow me to clarify introduces. It was not available on YouTube or bookstore shelves or in economic journals or on the table for philosophical debate. It's not an idea from some guru or economist or analyst or financial expert. Pro-trading is what history never knew. And TradingView Toolkit is free, absolutely free, and individually licensed to anyone and everyone who attends a six-hour pro trading seminar. From Gann to Elliott, from Markman to Neeson, from Chan to Buffett, I've studied it. From simple pen and paper mathematics to complicated quantitative analysis, from technical analysis to fundamental financial analysis, I have produced solutions beyond the scope of any historical contributor. From my book, Pro Trading and Quorum's Capitalism Theorem, to Think or Swim Toolkit and TradingView Toolkit, or MSN Money Toolkit, which includes the CIS Stocksometer, the qualitative value of resources is immeasurable. So let's take a look at TradingView Toolkit. And for those of you who are familiar with ThinkScript or Thinkorswim from TD Ameritrade, if it is a source of or an inclusion in TradingView Toolkit, I have already produced the conversion script for Thinkorswim before 2010. That's before 2010 when TD Ameritrade completed the acquisition of Thinkorswim. In fact, after beginning in 2007, I completed all of CIS trading solutions for Thinkorswim, which includes over 100 total platform solutions by the time my third child and daughter Kayla Renee was born in Florida, November 2011. Now, let's take a look at TradingView Toolkit. TradingView Toolkit consists of three multi-signal indicator solutions derived from the GG series Great Gatsby ProTrader indicator solutions. The first of these is CIS GG ProAction. The indicator function for CIS GG ProAction is market depth or range and directional delta which is range in time with the pro trader candlestick signal. The chart displayed on the right hand side, when you're looking at the numerical values for the indicator at the top, those numerical values are precise point pip calculated values. The indicator definitions that identify those price labels are GG max depth, GG minimum depth, GG del delta trend, and GG market depth. GG max depth is the maximum market depth expectation. It's coded with a dark color, either a dark green or a dark blue. This is the primary trend condition. It's an intermediate short-term trend condition GG minimum depth is the minimum market range threshold. It's also coded in the same dark color, either dark green or dark blue, with the primary intermediate short-term trend condition. GG delta trend is the current real-time range. It's light in color and is coded with the Great Gatsby Pro Trader candlestick signal. So when you look at the peaks and the valleys, the extreme peaks and the valleys with the light color green or the light color blue, that is your delta trend. That's your real-time range activity for the current candle. And then there's GG market depth. This is the average market depth performance over a short-term period of time. And it's also coded light in color with the Great Gatsby Pro Trader candlestick signal.
so you can see where the real time delta trend is for the current candle where the average market depth is whether you're above or below that and you can see the buy sell condition based on the great gatsby pro trader candlestick signal the key focus of cisgg pro action is market depth range potential so we're looking at expectations in the future real directional delta not only do we have the actual measurement of the real time delta but we're looking at what the buy sell condition is also another key focus is volatility you get a better view with market depth through cisgg pro action as far as volatility than you do with the vix index for example at the cboe for options and the final key focus is the actual market depth activity what the minimum and maximum thresholds are where that range expectation is as far as an average and where you're currently performing on the current candle in real time so the actual market depth doesn't begin somewhere in the middle it for each candle begins at zero where the open is and you can see where your activity is based on the actual point pip calculations on the right hand side of the price axis so two important inclusions once again are the great gatsby pro trader candlestick signal which are the light green and light blue colors and the buy sell color scheme trend condition which are the dark blue and dark green colors at the top and the bottom of the indicator the key market analysis feature for cisgg pro action is the ability to determine potential expected price performance and activity ahead of trading so what you're able to actually do is see where your potential is whether it's going to be low market depth or high market depth whether you have a potential of an increasing delta or a decreasing delta in the current candle where you're performing based on the average market depth and what your buy sell conditions are as far as price action and trend all at the same time very easily in a very simplified aesthetic view of market depth The chart shown with CISGG Pro Action doesn't contain any candlestick signals. I've just color coded the candlestick so that close below open is blue and close above open is green. So there's no candlestick signal there in this chart. I've disabled all the pro trader and all the pro metrics. So the only actual indicator or study that we have on display is CISGG Pro Action. When we're looking at, at Pro Action market depth, what we're basically looking at is where we are from peak high delta to peak low delta and what the implications are going to be when we're executing a trade. Now, the delta I speak of has to do with range and time. It's sort of like momentum. It's not statistical delta where it's a comparison between two different underlines, like in the options market. It's strictly mathematical delta, which deals entirely with momentum or range in time so looking at this chart when you look at these orange arrows the orange arrows are the peak high delta where the candle range hits the maximum peak the maximum depth and the gray arrows are the peak low delta where we get down to either a new minimum depth or near the minimum depth as far as our candle range for each individual candle when you're looking at peak high delta and peak low delta you can sort of see that there's a consolidation or a compression and then an expansion of price that usually occur in synchronization between peak low delta and peak high delta so when we have peak high delta, we come off of that peak high delta 
And then we'll have a peak low delta, which occurs below the market depth average. And then we'll have another peak low delta. And then we'll go back into a peak high delta. One thing that is very untrue that has been propagated for a very long time concerning markets, especially the foreign exchange market, is that markets are very volatile and high risk. That really isn't true. Mathematically quantized, when we calculate out how often we have maximum peak delta, in other words, where the market depth in the range is at the highest point, in other words, where we see these peaks on our market depth study for CISGG ProAction, that only occurs typically less than 30% of the time on most underlines. So that's really not true that there's high volatility or high delta that presents a risk as far as change in price goes. So when we're looking at ProAction, that's one thing that we're looking for. When we have a situation where we have a peak high delta, what typically happens is the market depth will decrease for a period of time toward a peak low delta. And then once we have a peak low delta, then the market depth will potentially increase up to a peak high delta. But typically the transition from low to high or high to low as far as market depth potential is seven candles when we're looking at a chart like this of mid-range activity and only three candles of peak high range activity. So typically we're going to be between the average or around the average down to the peak low delta level, seven out of 10 occurrences. So you can look at this chart and you can kind of see where market depth has an effect on price action by comparing the arrows at the top on the CISGG Pro Action to the arrows at the bottom on the main chart grid. CISGG Pro Action for TradingView Toolkit contains two buy sell conditions for the market depth study itself. At the top of this chart, you can see blue and green horizontal arrows that go out toward the right price axis. Those are the actual intermediate short term trend condition by sell signal. At the bottom of this chart, below the candlesticks, you can see the same blue and green arrows going toward the right price axis. This is the buy sell Great Gatsby Pro Trader candlestick signal that is the lighter blue and lighter green color in CISGG Pro Action. So when we're looking at this chart, we're able to compare what those signals look like relative to not only the price performance on the candlesticks themselves, and where that price action is, but what it looks like relative to market depth. And what CISGG Pro Action does is it allows you to optimize your potential expected move to see where the best opportunities are to maximize either your trend trading for example, the best trend conditions would be the middle portion of this chart where you are at a higher mid range with a higher minimum depth and it's a more consistent price action across a series of candles. And that typically is going to be a better trending condition. Your better reversal conditions are going to be where you go from low market depth, so down toward the minimum depth, and then break out toward the high, making a peak at the maximum depth 
And in the front section of this chart, if you look to the left where you have the two green peaks in delta, where it peaks and makes a new maximum depth, those are the type of trades you're looking for when you're trading a key reversal. You want to go from the low, lowest minimum depth, so where your peak delta is low, and transition over a series of two, three, or four candles into a maximum depth that makes a new peak delta high. But if you're trend trading and you're looking for a consistent move, you're in that mid-range, like toward the middle of this chart. So what this offers us is a way to not only look at market depth, but a perspective of where we are relative to momentum changing in the price action and the range potential just by looking at a very static market depth analysis of price action. CISGG Pro Trader from the Pro Trading GG series is a main chart overlay that contains two primary indicator functions. The first is the Pro Trader price action signals, including the Great Gatsby Pro Trader candlestick system. The second are the key price action levels. And some of those are pro trader adjusted and some of those are momentum adjusted. On the right hand side, when you look at the price axis, you can see the price labels identify where those exact levels are. The primary indicator definitions for CISGG pro trader are the GG high. This is a target high level. It's a high percentage occurrence that that target will be hit. It's a light color that is accompanied and defined by the Great Gatsby Pro Trader candlestick signal. So the color of the medium sized dot is the same as the candlestick signal color. The GG low is the target low level. And once again, this is a high percentage occurrence level with the light color from the Great Gatsby Pro Trader candlestick system. Then there's the GG target high. Now this is a breakout high level. It's a low percentage occurrence that those levels are hit. They're darker color and they're coded similarly to the CISGG Pro Action outer minimum and maximum levels with a darker color for the intermediate short-term trend condition. So the color of the outside dots is somewhat different than the color of the inside dots as far as your high and your breakout high targets, your low and your breakout low targets. So you have a GG target low, which is your breakout low level. Again, that's a low percentage occurrence, a darker color with an intermediate trend condition signal. GG Pro Trader is a Pro Trader trend algorithm adjusted trend curve basis. So it takes the principle of Pro Trader trend and it applies it to an overall trend curve that moves as price moves and is adjusted based on the Pro Trader principles. Then there's the GG average. This is the inversion momentum trend. This is one of the key price levels when markets begin to break out or they begin to break down. This is a level that they will always go to and typically stop and reverse a little bit, even if it's just market making consolidation to potentially a price action reversal. This GG average is a very important um, key price level that utilizes that inversion momentum trend. In other words, it's taking momentum and it's creating 
sort of a price support type of level inverted to the actual momentum potential. So it's opposite the potential, but it acts sort of as like a trend support level. But you can see when you look at the chart that quite often price comes right down or right up to that level. And there's a slight little price action reversal in there when it hits that level. And then finally, pro trader. Now, pro trader is the pro trading value for each candle. And that goes with the pro trading principles. So essentially, you have three trend conditions with CISGG Pro Trader the candlestick trend condition between your three trend curves from Pro Trader trend adjusted trend curve to inversion momentum trend curve to the Pro Trader value for each candle. The key focus for CISGG ProTrader are the buy sell conditions. It's color schemed buy sell zones. So you can see blue zones where you have price action signals to the downside, green zones where you have price action signals to the upside, your candlesticks color signal with the ProTrader candlestick system, the intermediate trend color, which is the trend color on the outer smaller breakout level dots and your pro trader value signal there are five key technical levels that we focus on with CIS GG pro trader the first are your price action targets the second are your price action breakout levels the third the pro trader trend curve which is the thicker blue and green line the fourth, the momentum trend curve, which is the thin line that sort of moves inverted to the main trend. And then finally, the pro trader value, which is a very thin line displayed on the chart that moves through the candles as the candles adjust in price. The key market analysis feature for CISGG Pro Trader is simply the price action buy sell condition with targets and key levels. In 2008, I began Great Gatsby Pro Trader. I began Great Gatsby Pro Trader with what I called the Gatsby signal. And what it was was a very simplified uh, signal of price action from that signal over the course of a two-year period I developed the entirety of a Great Gatsby Pro Trader index suite of indicator solutions which later were transferred through capital cycles into what is now CIS trading thinkorswim toolkit but CISGG Prometrics takes a concept from the intrinsic candlestick system for CIS Trading's Thinkorswim Toolkit, which I designed, and takes that same methodology and applies it to the original pro trading principles to create a multi signal indicator solution that is really best in world. The CISGG Pro Metrics has an algorithm template as an auto execution strategy that executes 97% winning trade ratio. Now some of those gains are very, very small, but it's still a 97% winning execution methodology. So from 2008 with the Gatsby signal, through the development of the entire Great Gatsby Pro Trader index suite of indicator solutions to what is now CIS Trading, CIS GG Pro Metrics is 
sort of a culmination of everything built into one really awesome looking and unbelievably functioning solution. So when we look at CIS GG Pro metrics from that original GG series, the primary indicator function is the most precise pro trading metrics and signals that we can possibly define. Also, it is a plus or minus point pip potential from the open to the exact pointer pip. So when we're looking at pro metrics, the measurement values are an algorithmic level of exact point pip distance potentially from the open where the algorithm condition is true. The primary indicator definitions include a differential of three trend metrics that define potential price action range and performance in advance. The first is the GG average trend strength. It's the trend strength level, plus or minus, from the very open of the candle. So it knows right when the candle opens what the initial level potentially should be. GG trend strength. This trend strength level again is plus or minus positive or negative on the right hand price axis from the open a precise predictive trend support strength. GG core trend strength. This is another trend strength level with precise measurement from the open. So as soon as the candle opens, we know where that initial level is. Now, as price begins to move, the variables of CISGG Pro metrics will begin to adjust those levels, but we already know them initially right when the candle opens. GG price action is the plus or minus point pip price performance. So whether it's a, an up move or a down move, it measures the price performance. GG series price action measures the price action strength level. So in other words, is this a strong price action move or a weak price action move? We can tell that relatively by the exact point pip metric that it plots. GG series momentum is the pro trader adjusted momentum level to the precise plus or minus expectation in the pro metrics. And then there's the Great Gatsby signal. The Great Gatsby signal is the reversal potential and originates all the way back to 2008 with the first Gatsby signal and takes that same principle and applies it to the pro metric data and it is when the GG series momentum, where momentum is the leading indicator, is greater than or less than the GG series price action. So anytime the GG series momentum moves above or below the GG series price action from a prior position where it is either below or above, whenever they cross, when that momentum becomes greater than price action or becomes less than price action, we get this great Gatsby signal. And we know in advance that there's a potential reversal very soon because once that momentum starts to lead the other direction, that signals a reversal where momentum is a leading indicator. There are four reversal signals, the Great Gatsby signal, the three bar price performance signal, the three bar price action signal, and the three bar momentum signal. And I'll go over those here in just a few minutes. There's also hot bar compression. This is the plus minus level of price action and momentum pressure. 
It is a trend breakout and reversal level. So where we see hot bar compression, which would be the orange bars on the chart, these levels are a significant trend level and a, a level of breakout or reversal. And I'm going to discuss sort of how hot bar compression works here in just a moment. So the prometric signal is very simple. It's the color scheme cloud of the GG series momentum and GG series price action differential. So we can see the difference between momentum potential and price action performance and potential. The key focus of CISGG Pro metrics are the four reversal signals. The Great Gatsby signal, the three bar price performance, the three bar price action, and the three bar momentum. Another key focus is the multiple technical levels. So we have our pro trader momentum value, our price action strength value, which is a cumulative value, the compression performance value. So we know the, the moment that there's pressure against the current trend and three trend differential metrics. And what this creates for us are buy sell conditions, all color schemed across three different cumulative calculations of data. So we basically have three buy sell conditions with our CISGG Pro metrics. Price action, buy sell condition, the Pro metrics, buy sell condition, and the ultimate momentum as a leading indicator. Now the momentum that's calculated in Pro metrics isn't the same as like a momentum indicator on a uh, typical trading chart. It's calculated strictly from the differential data for the pro trading uh, mathematics. So it's not the same as a momentum indicator. But we have these three buy sell conditions, price action, pro metrics, and momentum, and they're all color schemed. The key market analysis feature for CISGG pro metrics are key reversal with precision. So a, a precise reversal and trade signal with precise pre-calculated price performance potential. So not only is the, the data precise, but it's pre-calculated so that we have the ability to see what the potential performance of price will be. So let's take a look at CISGG Pro Metrics and focus on the main signals that it offers. Again, there are five basic signals, the price action reversal, the momentum reversal, the price performance reversal. Those are the three major reversal signals. Then there's the Great Gatsby signal, which is the leading reversal signal. So that's a total of four. And then you also have hot bar compression performance value. And so we'll go over all of these so you can see sort of how they work. All right, price action reversal, that's the very first one. If you look right there with the arrow pointing up, you can see the blue histogram breaks down. The price action reversal is an internal prometrics value. So when you look at prometrics, you see how the outside area, the regions outermost from zero, are sort of translucent. But towards zero, you can't see through that. In other words, that color is more solidified. When one of those internal metrics creates a three bar reversal. Now, when I say three bar reversal, that's when you have a first bar. And then you have a peak second bar that makes a peak high or a peak low. And then the third bar goes below the first bar or the third bar goes above the first bar if it's a peak low reversal. So if it's a peak high, the third bar goes below the first bar where the second bar is the peak. If it's a peak low reversal, the third bar goes above the first bar where the second middle bar is the peak low. So when we look at the price action reversal, that's when one of the internal pro metrics 
in one of the inner histograms creates a underlying three bar reversal. So when we look at this price action reversal, when you look up at the chart, you see how we have a move up and then where that price action reversal is, we have sort of like a small doji type of candle there. All right. Now that's signaling a short, except what happens is price goes the other way. But what the price action reversal tells us is there's going to be a price action reversal to the downside. In other words, it's inside the pro metrics and it creates a situation underlying basic price movement that's saying there's going to be a price action reversal within three bars. So usually within three bars, we'll have that price action reversal. So we get the price action reversal signal and then that candle moves up. Now here's what's interesting. If you count that first bar where we got our signal, that's inside bar, outside bar, and then the third candle that moves down a little bit is another inside bar. That's a diamond pattern. So you have an inside bar reversal, a diamond reversal, and the price action reversal signal telling you that something is happening that's going to set up a price action reversal, and the pro metrics knows that already in advance. The pro metrics knows when it's calculating out the algorithm that there's a price action reversal coming because the underlying data is signaling that price action reversal. The momentum reversal, if you go to the second arrow that points down, is different in that it's the thin histogram, whether it's the thin green lines or the thin blue lines, in the histogram that create the three bar reversal. So it's the same criteria where the third bar is less than the first bar where the middle second bar is a peak high. Or the third bar is higher than the first bar in the case that's on the chart. Where the third bar is higher than the first bar where the second middle bar is the peak low. This is a momentum reversal. All right, and what this tells us is that momentum is going to reverse. Now, momentum reversal doesn't have anything to do with price moving. The momentum reversal tells us that all the momentum energy is going to be going the other direction soon. So even though price might trickle downward, there's going to be a time where that all that momentum is going the other direction. And that momentum reversal tells us that. Then there's a price performance reversal. And what a price performance reversal is, is the main histogram, the main thick histogram, outermost, has a three bar reversal. Where the third histogram moves below the first histogram, where the second middle histogram is the peak high. Or the third large histogram moves above the first large histogram where the second middle histogram is the peak low. So those are our four major reversal signals for CISGG Pro metrics. Now we have hot bar compression and what hot bar compression is, is hot bar compression is a value that says trend cannot continue in this direction, whether it's up or down, unless price moves this far. In other words, you have to have a price move in this direction this far. If you don't, then there's not going to be enough to continue the trend. So when we see hot bar compression, we know that there's reversals about to happen. In other words, there's going to be a key momentum reversal about to happen throughout all the price action. So when we look at this chart, you can see where we have hot bar compression. You can see where we have the Great Gatsby signal, which is where you have the thin green line or the thin blue line inside the histograms. You can see it run the whole length. That's the momentum pro metrics and the price action pro metrics differential, where momentum's the leading indicator. So anytime you get that Great Gatsby signal, that's warning you we're, get, we're getting ready to have a move higher. So we get that signal on a, on a small 
a little bottom tail doji where we have hot bar compression at the same time. And then the very next candle has the most move in price than all of the four previous candles. So you can see sort of how hot bar compression and the Great Gatsby signal all combine. So when we're looking at hot bar compression and we look at that trade, we can see that reversal initially, but it doesn't pan out. And price tries to turn down, but you can see that it doesn't. What happens is it just sort of flattens out and it never can break that hot, hot bar compression because that actually creates pressure against the downward trend until it moves beyond it. In other words, there's pressure there that says somebody has to really move price beyond this level or it's not going to trend this way anymore. And you can see what happens and then it starts to kind of turn up and it flattens out again and then we have this second little dip that creates sort of a divergence and then we have that final buy trend where we start to move a little bit higher. So the four major reversal signals in CISGG Pro Metrics are the price action reversal, the momentum reversal, the price performance reversal, and the Great Gatsby signal. And the Great Gatsby signal is your leading signal of all of those. It's all the way back to 2008 that that signal was developed. And then there's hot bar compression performance value. As well as all of these, any time that the histogram is blue, that's a sell trend. And any time that it's green, that's a buy trend. So it makes sort of seeing what's really happening in the price action of the chart very simple. And then it provides with it the exact expected distance as soon as the candle opens of each of those pro metric levels whether it's positive in other words above the open or negative below the open and gives you not only a perspective potential but it assesses that performance and fluctuates real time so CISGG pro metrics is really the best in world when it comes to a multi-signal indicator solution that is accurate. Here in just a few moments, we're going to be able to take a look at the CISGG Prometrics algorithm, 97% win ratio, and you'll be able to sort of see how it all plays out when it's set up as an algorithm that auto executes with 97% winning trades. Trading View Toolkit combines quantitative metrics, technical accuracy, and price action analysis to create the chart view that we see here. All of the price axis labels and the indicator name labels are color schemed to the indicator buy sell condition so that blue is a sell bearish signal green is a buy bullish signal cisgg pro metrics has been converted to an auto execution strategy for trading view toolkit with a 97 percent winning trade ratio the trading view toolkit is available with the pro trading seminar go to cisevents.wordpress.com to learn more I am JC, the creator and developer of Thinkorswim Toolkit and TradingView Toolkit, and your pro trading instructor.